couple of bits since we've done a cat ladies collab so we figured it was time so for today's collab valeria andy and i are doing a one brand makeup look um, but we're all using different brands so it's a vegan makeup look we're each creating a vegan makeup look and then they're all from different brands so i'm doing on natural which i haven't played with really in a while so i figured it was time to do sort of like a one brand on natural look Valeria is doing Era Perez and then Andy is doing Cloven Hallow. So if you're interested in any of those or just want to watch all of them, I will leave the links for their channels and their videos down below. Make sure to go check them out. I'll also leave our Cat Ladies collab playlist linked down below in case you've missed any of our previous um, videos. <laughs> if you've missed any of our previous videos for any of our previous Cat Ladies collabs. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're just gonna do a one brand look. We're going to do All Natural. So I haven't used All Natural in quite a while and I do really like most of All Natural's makeup. Um, there are some things that I like better than others and I think today we're gonna go with mostly a powder look. So I do have their cream, um, cream to powder foundation stick and I do have their powder foundation. I think I'm just gonna go with their powder foundation today because I, I've wanted to use some of their powders. Um, We've got a blush, a highlighter, and a bronzer here. I've been wanting to use those. I picked up their finishing powder recently. They were doing some kind of sale on it. I don't remember if it was 25% off or something. But I used it as an opportunity to pick up the finishing powder in the new packaging. I know I got rid of it in the pump packaging, but I, I prefer this, um, this sort of like packaging. And then I also picked up a eyeshadow, a cream eyeshadow, and a cream eyeliner or and not just eyeliner they only have one kind um that i kind of want to use today so we'll sort of see i have i have a vision so we'll sort of see <laughs> we'll sort of see where this goes because i want to use if i can find the things that i want to use i want to use the shade kiki the, the cream shadow which is sort of like um like this lilac and then i also want to use the eyeliner in um, High Tide, which is like this teal. So I wanna use both of those colors together. I'm thinking like Kiki on the lid, High Tide in the lower lash line or something. You know, just wanna play with color. I just wanna do some colorful things. <laughs> um, and I have my I have a new scrunchie. It's cute. Maybe I'll um maybe I'll just like keep my hair out of the way. Today. Just like here we go. Just a little side pony. <laughs> it won't stay like that, don't worry. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the cream concealer and beige. I can't remember, do they have um a powder concealer? You can probably use the um the foundation is a powder concealer, but I couldn't remember. I really only have like a couple of areas that I want to just like make sure are like super concealed, like under here, around my eyes. Um, I don't want to do too much. Because the powder foundation I find has pretty, pretty decent coverage. I mean, and the concealer is not fabulous. So like, this is one of the things that I wouldn't rebuy from All Natural is the cream concealer. I just have other concealers that I like better, um, that I find have like better coverage, better color match. Um, you know, I really like the Ilia concealer. I really like Fit Glow. Um, I just find that this doesn't have, it doesn't have the best coverage. And it's a little light. Oh. You see my eye? So Pugsley, Pugsley grabbed onto my eye this morning. So I'm working out for the first time since March. Um, and I'm doing like floor work. So like when I'm on the floor doing like my abs and stuff or whatever, Pugsley gets all like excited. He thinks I'm like playing with him. And so he, like latched onto my eyelid 
And then at another point, he, um, <laughs> he bit my eye. So I have this, this fun <laughs> scratch on my eye now. He's such a punk, that cat man. Such a punk. So I'm just taking the powder foundation. And we're just going to buff it in. My skin's doing pretty good. I, I mean, again, I don't find the powder foundation to be like full, full coverage. So it's not like super full. But it's enough to sort of like even, even the skin tone. Which I don't mind. I mean, I'm not really a fan of like super full coverage foundations. I prefer like my skin to show through and it to look like natural, but just like my skin has been evened out. This might be a touch light for me just because I've had a little bit of sun this summer and I've been to the pool a couple of times. So um, I have gotten a little bit of color, but we'll, uh, we'll fix that with some bronzer in a second. I found it very hard to find like a shade in all natural that works for me because their their colors on their website don't really correspond with um the shades like swatches that they have on the website as well as like the color descriptions like i'm pretty sure sand is listed as like a light with neutral but it's it's more like fair light to me because i have still used other um foundations this summer that have been like light neutral and they're not as light as this one. I don't know, I've had, I've had trouble finding like my perfect shade in all natural I have. But I mean, bronzer helps to, uh, <laughs> bronzer helps to fix that really. So it even like looks like it should be darker, right? Like it doesn't look like it should be this light. Is it just me? Does anyone else have this much trouble? And maybe it just seems like I look lighter in the viewfinder than I do, like in real life. Somebody's under the bed. Is it Pugsley? It's either Pugsley or Jesse. That's usually who sleeps in here. So that's that. I'll put some on my eyes just to like even out the, uh, the skin on my eyes. But I do like that foundation. I mean, it's a nice foundation. It's just color match has been a little bit difficult, but you know, bronzer helps, bronzer helps. So that's that. I can put like, um, you know, a beginning picture just so you can sort of see side by side how well it evens out the skin tone. And it, luckily, I mean, my skin is not doing too bad right now. I do have a couple of bigger spots plus you know this stuff that's going on underneath my chin but my skin's not doing too bad right now if my skin was doing a lot worse i don't know okay so let's use the finishing powder so I'll just take a powder brush Woo! that was a lot i always like using a finishing powder because it sort of helps blur you know, pores and all that. I will at some point, um, you know, come on here and do like an all natural cream, you know, all cream look. This one's gonna be mostly powder, only because they don't have, you know, powder eyeshadows anymore. They, they got rid of those. Cause they were in like that roller, you know, the roller ball situation that they had, which wasn't the most successful um, <laughs> packaging. I thought this was gonna like help keep my hair out of the way and I wouldn't touch it as much, but it's um, it's loose. So <laughs> it's just sort of making it worse. Okay, so bronzer. So I've got the powder bronzer in the shade Kissed. So we're just gonna lightly go with that. The only thing I don't like about this packaging is the top. Because when I have these pots, I really like to swirl in like the tops of the, the tops of the things. And I really, you can't really do that with like these. So 
I'm going to try to, that's the only thing it makes it a little bit difficult because you, re you really don't want to just like put your brush in here and then just go to town on your face. There we go. We're warming it up. We're warming it up a little so we don't look so pale. <laughs> there we go. How's that? That's looking better. Now we don't look so, um... <laughs> Like we haven't seen any sun because we have our foundation is just just a little too light. I love bronzer. I can't believe I didn't use bronzer for so long, but it was all just a matter of like learning how to use it and like knowing where to put it and like blending it out. I love it now. Like that would be enough for me. Just put on some like mascara and just sort of like look like you have you know, even skin and some color. <laughs> that's a nice bronzer though. That one's the shade Kissed. I think that's the lightest one. I can't remember how many shades of the powder, the powder bronzer they have, but I feel like it's probably the lightest one. And then the blush that I want to use is the shade Fig, which again, <laughs> try to do this as delicately as possible without getting too much. I don't want to go too blush heavy, but I also want there to be some color on my cheeks. Just sort of like lightly sun-kissed. I'm liking it so far. Okay, so should I do brows first? I'll do brows. So this is the brow pencil um, in Cara. So let's brush the brows out first. And then I just fill in. I don't like to shape them or reshape them, I guess. I just fill in. And this is the first time I think I'm using this pencil since they reformulated. I know I bought this ages ago, um, but I haven't used my All Natural stuff in such a long time just because I've been really loving like Kosas and Ilia. Okay, got interrupted, but hopefully we should be good. Um, to finish. Don't remember what I was saying before. <laughs> the brow product is nice. The only problem I had with it with the last pencil was that it was really hard to sharpen. Sometimes these pencils can be really hard to sharpen where they just like, they don't sharpen cleanly and they just like break off. And then you're just like sharpening and sharpening and sharpening, trying to get it sharp. Um, that's the only thing, that's my only thing with like pencils like these, which is why I like brow gels now better than pencils. Um, the same with like liners. We'll see if I have the same issue with the pencil liner, like when I go to sharpen it, um, if it's going to give me problems, which I just assume that it will. Um, I'm gonna do eyes and then I'll do highlighter and then we'll figure out lips. So I'm just gonna go in with this Kiki shade um, all over, which is just sort of like a light, I don't know what it looks like to you guys. I don't know if it looks like the light purple that it is. Let's see if I can get some decent color on here. So last, I think it was last winter, they released those metallic cream shadows. I really like those. I do have those, but I've never featured them because you can't buy them anymore. Um, I wish they would keep those because I kind of like the cream shadows in the pots better than in the sticks. I find the sticks are just like a lot harder to work with because, I mean, it, this is not comfortable. It's like rubbing it on your eye is not comfortable. Um, on the brush, it's not really 
working out. Like I like the pot because then I can dip my finger in. I mean, we're make we're making do. It's not a it's not a a deep color anyway. So there's not a lot of color. It's just sort of just like, you know, placing it where I want it. Cause I think I'm just gonna do this all over the lid and then um, high tide in like the, the bottom, the bottom lower waterline and then sort of like bring it up maybe. I just wanna play lately. I mean, I'm sure you guys have like seen, I just want, like, I'm not doing anything. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> so I just want to like experiment and play with some stuff and like figure out what I'm comfortable with and stuff like that. One of these days I'll just have to, just like gonna get ready with me, show you guys the metallics. When I did that blue eyeshadow look um, for my empties video, um, I did use one of the all natural metallic cream shadows for that. And it was really pretty. I used that and then I used a powder shadow on top, um, like a Pacifica one. Really pretty. I mean, this shade is pretty too. It kind of reminds me of like 333 from um, Kosas. Only this will probably crease where that one does not on me. But. Again, I don't really care that much if it creases because I'm home all the time and I'm really, I'm just like playing, just like playing with stuff. That's probably as good as it's gonna get. And now let's attempt the liner. So I have this in here. So what we're gonna do, um, oh, I feel nervous. <laughs> Should have brought like a mirror. So waterline, and then I'm like smudging it um, below. Does that look dumb? I really need like a close up mirror. Let's do this one. And then what I wanted to do was sort of like take it out to create sort of like a lower, like a lower wing. I was trying to practice um, like wing liner last night. I'm just, but my eyes are so hooded. It's, it's really like impossible for me to do like an actual liner. I actually think that's kind of fun though. I don't know, does that sort of like scream like 80s to anybody else? <gasps> I don't know why. That's kind of fun though. Okay, now let's do it on the other side. Does that match? Oh, you guys. I just wanted to play. I saw this color, you know, in their swatches. And I was like, I really, I really want to play with that, like, green. I almost sort of feel like, like, space alien. <laughs> Do they match? I mean, sort of. I feel like one side is a little bit thicker than the other. I probably shouldn't mess with it. Anyway, that's sort of what I had envisioned. It came out sort of, sort of like I envisioned. All right, so now we're just gonna do mascara. So this is the all natural mascara. This isn't my favorite mascara. Um, this is definitely a, a, a product from them that I wouldn't repurchase. I just have other mascaras that I like so much better. 
Um, this one is good, I think, if you like, I don't know, like a really natural looking mascara. It's just, it's very wet and it's been open for a long time. Like, I don't even want to venture to guess how long this has been open for. Over a year, but I, ha I don't use it that much. So I don't, I don't throw things away, you know, three months after I open it because I hardly use it. Doesn't smell, but it's still wet. It's still a really wet formula. Plus it's not super like volumizing or lengthening, or if it is, you'd have to like sit here and do this for ages. And I don't really wanna sit here and like put mascara on for 20 minutes, you know? You know? I probably will get rid of this mascara, well, if I want to do another all, all natural look, I probably should keep it at least until I do one more. But, I mean, this isn't a mascara that I use frequently. I think the last time I used it was in a makeup, I, a makeup look I haven't used in a, whatever that one video I did a couple of weeks ago, or maybe it was months ago now. Um, Shop my stash. Oh, was that other, it was that mermaid. It was that other one where I did, you know, like the crazy colors, the mermaid look. It was the one with makeup I hadn't used in a while. That was the last time I used it. <laughs> May? Was that May? So now we're gonna go in with a little bit of highlighter. This is the powder highlighter in Moon Dust, which is just sort of like their white. White. white frosty shade, which I got um, kind of everywhere. <sighs> oh, and I just got it even more places. I'm gonna have to come in here with a, a rag after this. But that's a pretty highlighter if you want like a frosty um, white powder. You know what, that would probably make a good dupe for the RMS Living Luminizer if you don't mind powder. Because it's very like frosty white, like the, um, come on, the Living Luminizer is. And then, um, lips. So, what do I want to do? I've got lipstick, I've got lip gloss, I have the liquid lip thingies, but I don't know what I want to do. Do I want to go like super pink? I could do like um, sangria, um, which is sort of like this color. Maybe we'll do that. Just sort of like lightly. I can't remember if this specific one is the old formula or the new formula. Because I swatched them all and then they updated the formula. And I hated the original formula because it was very stiff. But then the new one is like much creamier. And I did replace a few of the colors in the new formula, but now I can't remember which ones. I feel like that might be too much. Let's take down the hair and see. Well, maybe it, maybe it works. With the hair down, it doesn't look so overwhelming, but that's kind of fun, right? I mean, if you want to play with color, but you don't really know how, I usually always do. Well, I mean, like I started, not now because I've learned to play with color and I'm more comfortable playing with color on like the lid. Um, but when I started, I used to put like a neutral shadow on the eye and then do like a, a colorful liner underneath. That's how I started playing with color. And then I got more comfortable, you know, experimenting with more colors and um, doing them on the lid. It's kind of fun though. I mean, not a look that people are going to replicate, but it's just like, you know, fun experimentation, right? How to wear liner with the <laughs> super hooded eyes that you can't really, like, 
They say to do liner on super hooded eyes is to like really relax your eye and then, you know, go over where the crease naturally is. But like, it's hard for me because my, my eyelids are like super, look at that, they're super hooded. Anyway, I kind of like this though. This is kind of fun. Would I do this with black though? Probably not. So I hope you had fun, um, you know, doing a little experimental experimental thing with me with some all natural makeup. I mean, did I mean for it to be so experimental? I don't know, kind of. Like I had an idea of what I wanted when I, when I was going into this. I just wanted it to be kind of like fun, fun and different. Cause I don't, you know, I don't know. I'm starting to play with color more. I don't know, the more that I look at it, the more I kind of like it. <laughs> it's really fun. But anyway, go check out Andy and Valeria's videos. I probably assume that they will not have done anything as wild as I did. Um, but you know, I'm going a little stir crazy and I just want to be in a creative, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be more in like a creative place and not so much in like a funk. So I'm trying to break myself out of the funk by doing more things that I like wouldn't normally do like this. <laughs> but this is a fun way to like use colored eyeliners, you know, I would have preferred to do or like what I wanted to do originally was do like a wing at the top, but I mean, I kind of like the way that this turned out. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope that you had fun. Um, let me know your favorite way to wear colored eyeshadow or like liner or whatever. And uh, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.